Greetings, Marsher, and welcome to episode 98 of my modded Factorio playthrough. I guess we might as well uh, do it in the same order uh, that we planned them. Not that it really makes much of a difference, but... For symmetry reasons, for consistency, let's do it in that order. Want to try to avoid the biters again? We can start killing them now, but I kind of want to do it uh, systematically. And try to sweep out all the biters at the same time. So let's build the wall first. Besides, while the uh, robots are building stuff, we'll probably have a little spare time to go biter hunting. Alright, looks like we already cleared this area out. Okay, let's, uh, let's get building. We're going to need one of these. Looks like there is a way to get everything in there. And yeah, we might have to adjust it. Or do some landfill. Just right there. Now let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. Boom. See, we're gonna need the walls. We're gonna be hand building some of this stuff, so I'm gonna want to have the walls in the inventory. Uh, I guess put it right here. Well, but down here doesn't have the light, so we'll do it here. Where's the concrete at? There we go. Looks like we already had some. this a little bit. Can also uh, remove some belts that are not necessary. Looks like those ones all are. Okay, so we need our loader. Let's put the splitter in here. Reverse the belt. bunch of ammo in there. Okay, and I believe we needed uh, one power panel. Could need to make some room for that. That is a disadvantage to this, is the power panels take up a little room, but not like much is going to happen over here, so it shouldn't be a problem. I guess we can put it right there. The familiar sizzle. Uh-oh. Getting attacked. By what? All the way down there. Hmm. Do we have a stray construction robot? <laughs> that was weird. All the way down there. Okay, so why is that weird? Oh, it's because the uh, RoboPort's charging takes up a ton of power. And then there we go. Okay, all the turrets filled up. So we can grab the extra ammo. And that's a wall. 
Uh, I don't think we forgot anything, so... Onwards. Except there's really not that many... There's like no lights in this design, just because of the placement of everything. Oh wait, no, there's one there. Oh, okay, no, no. They're there. Just, they're behind the, uh, the wires. They're hard to see. Oh. Uh, we need to put some robots in here. And we need some repair packs. I believe it was, uh, 20. Okay. There we go. Those are gonna do their own thing. And this is gonna be a separate network that's going to be uh, unrelated to everything else. Oh, I keep forgetting. Ah, radar. Um, I guess like right there. So I look at all that radar taking up all that power, but there's still extra. And this might run out of power overnight, but it'll it'll balance out in the morning. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go kill those biters right there. Just gonna run out of fish. And <laughs> they attack and they run. Let's see, we can use robots, weirdly enough, to go fishing. So see, now that we're out of range of the radar, but we can still check to see what the status of everything is. The electric network and all that. Might as well pick up all the robots because we're going to need them. Oh, it's the, uh, the repair packs are confusing the robots. Okay. That's how that happened. So I'll have to pick up all the repair packs. The turrets are already doing damage. Okay, so we need to pick up all of the repair packs. So I guess I'll just put all these belts in there. Leave up some room for all the repairs. There we go. Is that just a mass of biters? Yep. Whoa! Definitely want to take care of these guys. Whew! Those would have caused some problems if I'd have just ignored them. Oh, they're checking the truck again. That can be really unfortunate if they destroy it because we have all our stuff in there. Another biter nest down. Let's go save the truck again. Seems to be pretty durable. Yeah. Oh, we have this uh, radar we can get rid of while we're here. We just don't need it anymore. We've got a bit of a walk to take care of all these poles. Follow the bulldozer path from before. Cool crafting speed's done. Just get rid of the blinking for now. Let's see, is this a biter's nest right here, or just a random sighting of a few roaming biters? Biters. We are. Looks like we had some. Uh, tree removal orders. So that's what those robots are going ahead and taking care of. Guess that means we are going to put the wall right here, I suppose. Yeah, I believe so. So something like this. Let's see if we can try to squish as many uh, turrets in here as possible. So let's put it right here. Use some landfill right here. Let's 
Let's try to put it in the middle so we have uh, less robots moving around. Let's go, yeah, put one right there and then maybe right here. Just to try to minimize the amount of time robots have to go fly in. How many uh, powers do we need to? I guess put them right here. Seems like a good spot. Probably like right here and right there. Is it still in range of everything? Seems like it. Let's see, we need to have a gate somewhere. Uh, how about right here? Right in the middle. to get the fuel set up, or the uh, ammo set up. Let's see, do we have a space there? I don't think it really matters. We uh, did not. So just put the loader right there, the ammo box, and let's just throw all the ammo in there. Let it do its thing. Are those inserters set normally? Seems like they're acting weird. Yeah. That's weird. Oh well. So everything's charging up. Oh. See, that's working fine. Maybe it's just because they were low on power that they're acting weird. Okay, so we're pretty low on ammo, so we'll need to get another one. So you just put the radar next to the ammo. Fill all these up with robots and ammo. Repair packs. Feels like ammo. Maybe I should have done 25 because it would have been easier to split the stacks. Pick up that extra ammo. <laughs> Another wall complete. Power's charging. Let's go to the big one. Looks like there's uh, lots of biters' nests we're gonna have to kill on the way. Trying to simultaneously destroy the nests and collect the orbs. I believe there was a radar out here somewhere. Yeah, like right there. Might as well pick it up. There we go. The way is lit. Uh, let's see. Just get rid of some of this junk for now. I need more ammo. There we go. Something else we can take care of too. Oh, and we should start the research as well. We're pretty good for most things. I mean, there's some random stuff we could research, but we're pretty good. But the main thing we need to start researching now is trains. Because we're definitely going to need them. Uh, we'll cover this stuff in detail a little later. Just want to kind of research it all right now. Um, but basic railway unlocks just uh, tracks and locomotive and the cargo wagon. But also I have a mod that lets you uh, build bridges with train tracks, which is really convenient. It, it allows you to be straight <laughs> even over water, which is nice. So we'll research that. Probably won't take too long, but it'd be bad to have all this taken care of and then start planning the uh, train stuff and not have any of it researched. So let's... Uh, since the factory is idle, you might as well give it something to do. So now that we have turrets and walls, and our base is officially safe, at least this part of it, we can now reclaim these walls. 
And the ammo. And the turrets, too. Don't really need the turrets, but the ammo's nice. Looks like we're uh, pretty low on... Curtinium here. We might need to scan... Or prospect for better ore. Yeah, see, all these are out. Do we have the prospectors with us? Probably not. <laughs> oh well, we'll handle that some other time. Made it back. Let's uh, free up the inventory a little bit since we've got some junk now. Okay, railway's done. Let's expand it a bit with the fluid wagons. Just can carry liquids, they're very convenient. And without them, you'd just be doing a bunch of barrels, <laughs> uh, which are annoying. So let's do those fluid wagons. Let's see, what's next? Biter's nest? Oh, lots of biter's nest. <laughs> it's like, is it a biter's nest or is it a wall that we need to take care of? This uh, biter clearing out is uh, obviously of great importance because what's the point of walls if we've got biters inside the walls? See, I kind of want to look up there. There's some dots, but uh, there may not be biters anymore. That just could be uh, radar remnants. That was tough. Those spitters do a lot of instantaneous damage. Like a, this whole thing is just spitters. So go up and build the wall first, since we are going to be traveling south to get to the next wall section. It'd be a little bit of double backing if uh, we went down there first. Okay, I believe we are going to start the wall section kind of right here, since we have a a natural wall forming. So probably. All of this. All right, fluid wagon. Another thing that would be useful is the uh, crawler construction train. I'll have to call it something else since we already have a crawler. But uh, it unlocks some kind of uh, rail themed uh, construction vehicles. They're kind of the same and kind of different, but they will be very useful, so let's research those. Basically, it's gonna... it's a train version of our construction truck here with uh, robots and roboports and all that. Let's see, let's put it kind of right here. But, put a landfill right there. So we need uh, three sets of power panels for here. Might as well build them right here. Power levels are holding up. Okay, construction train is done. They do have these uh, petrochem trains, but I'm going to ignore them because I don't really see any advantage to them. And they look kind of funny. <laughs> but uh, we do need automated rail. Basically, train stops. <laughs> so trains can move automatically. And that's kind of the point of trains. I think we need about one more section here. And then we move down. We don't want to get too close to that base up there. As far as down, you just kind of 
smush them together and we'll fix it later. How far does the range go? Okay, so the range does go to about here. Okay, so this will work. Like right there. We need a gate somewhere. Uh, how about right here? this section here. See, do we want a turret on that corner? Probably we do. Shortcut <laughs> right there. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to want more ammo in there. Get rid of the flashing. Okay, now that we have automated rail, take that one step further still to rail signals. She'll Help us have multiple trains on the same tracks without everything falling apart. Finally made it to the end. Hmm. So we need to clear out some of this space right here. So we don't need those. It's red, so it's looking like it's not going to place, but I think it was. I just needed to uh, shift-click it. Oh, well. We're good regardless. Finally. Looks like everything is uh, complete. So let's uh, load up with robots and repair packs. We need to place our radar down. Just put it next to the... Well... This is actually kind of tricky. I think we're going to need two radars. So we can see the entire wall. Because you can see the uh, blue outline on the minimap. That's kind of giving us a hint about what this radar is going to see. that extra ammo looks like we're gonna need more so what else is new we need more ammo see it's quickly disappearing might have to make a trip home to replenish our supplies that's the power doing okay so they ran out but Rail signals are done. I think that's all of the rail stuff we need for now. Yeah. But uh, I'm guessing that the accumulators just didn't have enough daylight to fully charge. Because this is a balanced setup, so they're going to need the whole day to fully charge properly. But one more wall on the books. Let's go to the next one. 
Don't have to get all the orbs. It'll basically be impossible to get all of them. Just make a sweep. Get what we can and keep going. So it looks like we have a biter's nest in a little unexplored area there. So we might as well take care of both. We need some more fish soon too. Yep, we're down to our last 39. And only, uh, it's like one and a half armor too, so we're kind of low there. <laughs> it, you grind through it when you're fighting all these biters without any shields. Let's see, we we're gonna build right about here because we needed to leave room for the coal. So I believe that's one of our bigger patches, so. Let's see. Let's take care of this. And also, just kind of do a swoop. <laughs> Let's see, we want to place this uh, right about here. We can get rid of that. Extend the wall. No, that actually, that had to be there. <laughs> so we need to landfill a little bit if we've got any extra. We do. Let's see if that's enough. You want to extend it down a little bit to leave room for another turret. There we go. Looks like we need to move down a little bit more to get all the fish. See where to put the gate. Uh, right here seems fine. But we need to uh, move up a little bit more to get the rest of that place. Also, how many powers? Uh, two. Two of them should fit right there. Battery power is still holding. Also, we need to place the radar. <laughs> Barely moving right now because the uh, rubber ports are sucking up all the power. Another wall done. Hmm, yeah, we're uh, pretty low on ammo here. It's probably guaranteed that we need another stack with the biters we have to kill. Yeah, it's real hard to predict exactly how much ammo we're going to use on these biters, so I didn't want to guess and uh, make way too much, so since we're kind of actually near the factory already, uh, it's just a straight line to go over there, nothing in the way, so let's get uh, another 10 stacks. There should be uh, 10 stacks there waiting for us. another 10 stacks. Okay, so where are we going? Looks like we need to clear out that black area right there and then kind of swing down here and kill a bunch of fighters. That's all the time we have for today. Part 2 of Building Walls will be on the next episode.
Thanks for watching.